What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nine Hip Parade Limited Spots uh, giveaway is going to happen here with this 2016 uh, Optic Football Hanger One Box Break. Random teams number 69. And again, just like a normal break, we'll do the break first. Then at the end, we will randomize the, only the customer names. And then we'll give away the nine spots of the Hip Parade Limited Break. All right, roll. Six and a one, seven times. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I didn't get to see Bobby Orr so much, Mike, but I just recently started deep diving into his stats on Instagram because we were talking about him, and god damn, that guy. I think he still probably would have dominated in this era. Lemieux was also pretty awesome. I mean, I'd assume if Lemieux, Lemieux didn't have to miss some time, obviously, with what he had to go through, he'd probably be a lot higher in people's lists. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like speaking of like ex ducks, but like Paul Korea too. Like I was looking at his stats. Does that definitely deserves you know deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, even though he didn't play as much as as most people, but he still averaged like a point or two, like whatever it was, a point a point or two a game, right, or something like that with the stats that he did. And if it wasn't for him, his concussions, injuries, that he he'd be a lot higher. On people's list of uh, of hockey legends, but that dude was something else, man. I remember that one game. I think it was a playoff game. And he got just destroyed, right? He got destroyed, and you know he had a concussion. But it was it wasn't it wasn't really a thing, right? Back then it was just like ah, oh, you just got your bell rung. And then he came back in later and scored like two goals. You know. Yager too, if he didn't leave to the KHL for like four years, he would definitely be higher and probably would have broken Gretzky's record. I, I believe so, as well. Yeah, Rex, but you know, flopping's part of the game, Rex. It, you, have to, you have to fake it to get the call. And, you know, I just think it's the man in us that wants it to go back to the way it was when people were punching each other and... I mean, would you really, I mean, realistically, like, would you really want to see basketball like that? Uh, it is what it is, man. It's just like soccer nowadays. You have to play it out. If you don't play it off, then the ref's not going to think it was a foul. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. And I'm pretty sure every other player, if they were if they, players in the 80s, 90s, whatever the case, played in this era, they would have to do the same thing. I mean, like I said, I think it's just the man in us, the manliness that we want to see it go back to the old days, or that's real basketball. But was it really real basketball? I mean, I don't know, man. People just, you're basically wrestling and fighting on the court. Plus, a lot of those bigger guys, too, like, because they're so big, it's just like, you know, it's just like the way the football quarterbacks get treated, like Cam Newton, right? To Tom Brady, for instance, right? Tom Brady can get just barely get touched, and, and they're going to call a penalty, right, or a flag. But someone like Cam Newton who runs and has the ability to run, he can get beat up throughout the whole game, you know, and get hit potentially illegally. But they're not going to call it because, well, there's always that threat of him running, you know. So it's like, it just, it, everybody gets treated differently, but basketball has become like that. You kind of have to fake it. And if he doesn't want to say, well, then that's his problem, right? I mean, let him pretend like he's not doing it, but everybody does it. Probably still more in soccer than anything, but. All right, so you have Tyler Irving. Sterling Shepard's not bad. Jonathan Blard, Mike Evans. Plus, we all know LeBron James is a liar. He's, he's, he says a lot of things. He predicts. <laughs> I, I knew Kobe was going to drop 81. I was talking to a teammate early before the game. Kobe's going to score like 80 points tonight. <laughs> Whatever he said. <laughs> all right. Here we go, Dice Roller. Uh, names.
All right, here we go, guys. Top nine, get in. Roll it. We have a six and a four ten times. Six and a four ten times, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Le cap. Yeah. Six, four, ten, ten, top nine. Michael, P, Josh Smith, Ryan, Brian, Carlos, Ryan, Stewart, Chris, Mark, and Chris. There you go. Top nine are in, guys. So, I was going to do the second filler, but, I mean, it kind of was selling on its own. So, kind of figured we could probably sell it out with, uh, with, um, with another straight up couple of spots so I put spots back in so we only have to do one filler guys and then uh, we can break open this uh, this limited football thank you guys